Well, good morning. Uh, good morning and welcome to worship on this Sunday uh, rally Sunday. Uh, you see the streamers and the sign, and uh, I hope you get a sense that we are beginning something again. It's a great day to also have the story of in the beginning, because this is the beginning of some of our programs, our Sunday school, our our, uh, it's the beginning also of our week of God's work, our hands, and uh, we will finish that up next Sunday. Uh, so we are gathering as God's family, growing in faith, and going forth this week to serve and proclaim in Jesus' name, as our mission statement says. Uh, you see, on Wednesdays we have begun uh, our um, church school. It's with the Bible Adventure at 645, uh, and that's for up through grade 8. Um, then on next weekend is Duck Fest, and uh, also I just don't want to forget to say that this Sunday is also, uh, there's youth group for grades 9 through 12 at 5 p.m. up in Besanet. So um, be sure to let me know if you're planning on going so we get a ride uh, for you. Or if you may, you can maybe get have your own ride, I'm not sure. But uh, next Sunday we will be in the thick of the lion's brunch. Um, but this Sunday we have a potluck after church. And so um, there will be plenty of food. If you didn't bring food, I'm sure that uh, we will uh, have something for you. Just stick around and enjoy but I, I understand that you already had a little fellowship and coffee hour um, before services, too. So uh, lots going on. Um, one thing I would like to highlight is that next Tuesday, a week from Tuesday, is the Camp of the Cross Women's Retreat. We have a car going. And I will be going, and I, have a, I know of a couple people so far. We do need to register ahead of time, so... I can help you do that. Let me know or, or go ahead and go online yourself and register. Uh, it won't take more than a few minutes. And I guess let me know that you need a ride. So uh, it's exciting. It's an exciting time, an exciting week for Bowdoin as we gear up for Duck Fest. There are quite a few options for volunteering on the next slide there. Um, and uh, maybe you can make a pie for the pie auction or help with the thrift store. Maybe you have your own vendor table. Um, that's all part of uh, the work that we have this week. Um, that, the Beck Grace, um, don't forget we are raffling off a quilt. Uh, the women of our church are raffling that quilt in the back there, so maybe you would like to uh, buy a raffle ticket for that. Um, or. Uh, of course, we have the steak supper and the lion's brunch that you can uh, either help at or come and support, too. So, um, we keep these folks in our prayers. Uh, there was uh, really good news this week for Pat Maxine. They did not find the tumor when they went in to take it up. It was gone. And so, uh, we give thanks and praise uh, for prayers answered. And uh, just, it seems like a miraculous uh, gift for her, and welcome, uh, she's, she's with us online today, and welcome to the others who are also joining us online. Uh, welcome to some of you that it's been a, a little while, and others who were here just last week. Uh, it is good to be together, and gathering together for the commu Holy Communion, and hearing the Word, and singing together, so... Are there any other announcements or prayer requests? Yes, Laurel. Um, today was the first uh, day of adult Sunday school. However, uh, we got the word out late, so nobody came, which was okay because I couldn't get the uh, laptop to coordinate with the uh, projector. So I'm going to be working with the Crowder boys or Pastor Pauline to get that going. And next Sunday, we will be studying Genesis 1. Okay. So, uh, it, we're we were trying to coordinate with uh, Pastor Pauline sermons, but 9.45 Sunday morning downstairs. And then we'll have plenty of time for talking and talking afterwards. All right. Thank you so much, Laurel. That's exciting. Anything else? Yes. So, sir, I was kind of um, from yesterday. Linda and Karen, thank you. 
All right, keep them in your prayers. With that, let us begin our worship. I invite you to rise, and we're going to sing, Morning Has Broken, the words will be up on your screen. of the whole. 
whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord.
We will continue with the story from Genesis 1-1. You want to stand there? Now I would like to have a little participation whenever we have the words uh, uh, and God saw that it was good. When you hear me saying and God saw, I want you to continue with that it was good. Okay? And then I'd also like help with, and there was evening, and there was morning, the, and then it's whatever day it is. So, our, our narrative reading today is found in Genesis 1, 1 through 2, 4. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep while a wind from God spread over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And that, and that picture there is from our Sunday school. Uh, they painted parts of the uh, creation. And this I could just see the light bursting forth. All right? And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. There we go, the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky. And, and there, there was, was evening, evening and there was morning, the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. Look at that. I can see dry land there, first and forth. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together, he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, the fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation. Look at the vegetation just popping up there. Beautiful flowers. Plants yielding seed of every kind and trees of every kind bearing fruit with seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let there be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. And the stars, God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. There are the lights, and if you pay attention, you see the little white spots that are the stars. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth, across the dome of the sky. So God created great sea monsters, and every living creature that moves of every kind with which the waters swarm, and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. There they are, winged creatures of every kind, and I think I see a sea monster in the depths there that God created. 
God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let birds multiply on earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind. And everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. There they are. Somebody prefers kitties. Meow. Uh, but uh, that is a, a beautiful picture of some of God's creatures, including what's coming next. Then God said... Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in God's image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, God created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in it in its fruit. You shall have them for food, and, an, and to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very The heavens and the earth were finished, and all their multitude. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that God had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. So, so God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth. When they were created. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. And thanks to Emily, one of our church school superintendents, for helping with the reading. And thanks to some of our confirmation youth for helping me with the song. I would like to invite the kids to come up to I have something to show you. I have something to ask you guys about. What did you just do a little while ago during coffee hour? You had a project. What were your hands busy with? Did, did you put something together? Did I remember? School supplies. School supplies. Um, name one school supply you touched or handled. Notebooks. What else was there? Pencils. Pencils. Rulers? Color crayons? Erasers? Are there tins? Scissors. Scissors? I think we got most of it. And what did you do? You put them into a? Bag. Yep, a school bag. And we're going to put them in a box and we're going to track them and find out what country they go to. They go to a country where maybe a kid like you doesn't even have a pencil to write with at school. Think of what if you didn't even have a pencil. We have lots of pens and pencils at home. So we're packing them up, and that was God working through, hold your hands out, through your hands. This week is God's work, our hands. 
And sometimes we just think it's our work, right? Well, and sometimes God has given us work to do. But a lot of times, many times, these hands are busy with God's work. And that was God's work downstairs. I didn't. I was going to show you a school kit, and then I realized I didn't have one. But you guys know them way better than me today. So we're putting together those kits um, for other people so they know God's love. Um, let's say a thank you prayer. Let's say thank you, Lord, for working in our lives and using our hands. One, two, three. Thank you, Lord, for working in our lives and using our hands. Amen. And thank you for coming up. I have a whole bunch of fruit snacks and also Smarties. You can see them better. You can pick which one you want. How about you all say, and it was so. And it was so. 
Uh, let the waters under the sky be gathered together in one place and let dry land appear. And it was so. Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit trees of every kind. And it was so. And then there were the lights in the dome and the sun and the moon and God called it night and day. And it was so. Again and again, the waters putting forth swarms of living creatures. And it was so. Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, God says. And it was so. Let, and then finally, let us make humankind in our image. And it was so. The pattern is God speaks, and it happens. And there are a couple words for creating. One of them is used, God created the heavens and the earth, and when the, um, the, the creatures of the sea were created, and when it says, so God created humankind. But there's another word for creating too, and it has to do with the good that God says is happening too. God, once God creates, there are things that start creating because God created them. Plants continue creating. Animals and creatures start creating uh, living things uh, from themselves and birthing new life. And so pretty soon, uh, in balance and in orchestra with one another, creation starts taking part. And it's not like the fish or the human or the plant brings it out of nothing. It's that that God sets creation creating. And so this other word for creating is like making or fashioning or almost participating in creation. God does that, and yet God does it through others. At this beginning of beginnings uh, this year, as we start thinking about um, creating a group meeting for Bible study or, or starting up a church school that we're actually creating Wednesdays for the first time, we're also thinking about all the harvest work we have to do or all the duck fest work that is coming up this week. God is working through all of that work, creating as you work with your hands and feet and body and, and, and the things you say and the things you listen to, we are called into helping, <laughs> participating is better maybe, in God's creating. And God saw that it was good. The good comes when we are relating as creatures to one another, or when we're relating to God. That is where it all begins. God calls things a certain name, and God sees that it is good. You have been called and named daughters of God and sons of God. There's this brokenness that we also see in creation where we get separated from each other, where we say and do things that hurt one another that is not part of the cre Creator's creation. That's something we brought in. And we are called to keep participating in the new creation that God is still working every day in us and in our world. You are called daughter of God. You are called son of God. You are given as a human being 
the job of, I wish they didn't use the word dominion in English because it sounds so conquering and ruling. It's more stewarding, managing, working with, participating in the balance, helping. We are called with our hands and ourselves to participate and be part of making God's creation grow and keep moving and changing according to the good that God wants for all of us. The broken part is that we want it to revolve around ourselves. And we are called again and again to hear that God comes and saves that in us, redeems us, uh, rescues us from the darkness and the, and the brokenness and, and redeems us into the goodness of God, God's mercy and love, and helps us uh, know God again. We have these days, right? The first day, evening and morning, the first day. The second day, the third day. Did you notice something about the seventh day? Did you, did you say with me and it was evening and morning the seventh day? I don't think so. I don't remember that. It's like the seventh day, which was the first day of humans being in creation with God, isn't supposed to end. The relationship that we are called into in the image of God, to be together with God, is supposed to be part of all our days and all our lives. And that is very, very good, God says. Sabbath, or seventh, for the seventh day Sabbath, I learned this week from Rabbi Noah, or, or was reminded, um, means stop. <laughs> On that first day of people living in this world, they had to stop. And as they stopped, they rested with the Creator, rested in the Creator. And God blessed them. And we are blessed as we know God's presence and God's continued healing and fixing and repairing and rescue, that's the whole point of creation, of, of being made, is to know this God who wasn't satisfied with nothing being around, but was ready to share God's light and life with so much all creation and as we are called by the waters of baptism as sons and daughters of God we are joined together with the word that was in the beginning and was with God and was God that poof of air that names you a child of God means that you are forever with God, that God is promising to support and sustain and keep creating and saving and redeeming you. So God makes and creates. God names and calls us. And then God blesses us. God blessed the fish and the sea monsters. God blessed the creeping creatures in the, and the, all of the swarming birds. And God blessed humans. And when God says something, what happens? It is so. So God blesses also a day of rest where we can be together. The seventh day, a number that reminds us of God, is blessed. And it's blessed so that it keeps going with us day in and day out as we go and serve our neighbor and serve our creator and work alongside and participate. That is blessing from God because we know we are with God and that we are God's 
beloved creatures. We're starting a narrative lectionary now where we go through, we started at Genesis, we go through some of the highlights of the Old Testament. Some characters and names that you recognize, but uh, we hear about how they participate in this big story. We had a, a story we remembered yesterday, right? It is 20 years after 9-11. And on that day, the complete opposite of what God stands for happened. There was destruction and brokenness and death and chaos. That is the sort of thing that God has come to uh, repair and heal and bring wholeness and life again. In the midst of ruin and destruction, God says, no, my story is bigger and lasts forever beyond anything like that. Uh, we live in God's story, God's redemption, and God's everlasting, loving, merciful, life-giving words. Amen. Amen. Let's continue with our hymn of the day, which is 763. Was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the 
Spirit, we offer our prayers for the church, the world, and all of creation. And we have a number of prayers, so I invite you to just offer one of the petitions, and we have enough for quite a few to participate in. Let us pray. Thanksgiving for Pat and her healing. your hands, O Lord, we lift up these and all for whom we pray. Welcome us now to the table of our Lord, the bread of life, and receive these prayers in the name of Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. I'm going to have you wave the peace of Christ, uh, uh, smile, look people in the eye, hug the people who are right next to you that you can hug, <laughs> and uh, share the peace of Christ with each other. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you. <laughs> the, before we begin the offering time, I just want to give you a little picture of Wednesday, last Wednesday, as we gathered for our Bible adventure and, and the joy that was there. I invite some ushers to come forward to help with the offering.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks for to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. And we pray it is indeed right, our duty and our delight, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, O God, our Creator, who brings about a new creation in our Lord Jesus Christ and his death and resurrection. So with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, with all creatures and all creation, we praise your name and we join their unending hymn.
the body of Christ given for you. Now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord of life, in the gift of your body and blood, you turn the crumbs of our faith into a feast of salvation. Send us forth into the world with shouts of joy, bearing witness to the abundance abundance of your love in Jesus Christ our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. We sing together 824. This is my Father's world. Uh, three verses.
Sweet God.